there Star Wars collectors and welcome to another Bosk's Bounty video. So this video is going to be slightly different to the normal sort of videos that I put out. This one's going to be all about vintage Star Wars figures and how I collect them and the disaster that I've had this week with receiving a uh, collectible or figure in the post and we're going to get onto that in a minute but I did want to just give you some background as to why I bought this item in the first place and basically in my collection I kind of like to focus on carded figures from around the world. So for example, on the left here, we have a Reese card. This is actually a clipper card from the Netherlands. We have the sticker that goes all the way around. That's all, that's called a clipper card. We have the Palatoy Tri Logo card. Then of course, we've got a standard Kenner card with the Empire Strikes Back logo. And another one of my focuses is to try and get one from each film as well. So for example, we have a Star Wars card here. So that's the Star Wars logo. Uh, this is R5D4 on a 20 back card. Uh, that one's actually graded. Um, of course, I've got plenty of Return of the Jedi ones. They're really, really easy to pick up. But I've also got a Palatoy card. So this is my only one that I have with the actual Palatoy logo on. So this is obviously the British card. There you go there. So that's awesome. I also have a, the Power of the Force card. So of course Kenner, but it's the Power of the Force. So you know you can see what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to get sort of one example of each figure, uh, each card back rather. And then when you start going on to the foreign cards, it starts to get a little bit expensive. So as you can see here, I have a French Meccano card and all I've got there is the card back with the figure in front. So that's how you display that. You can get these nice cases that has the figure in front there. He's not attached to the bubble. And that's how I display that. So this brings me on to what I ordered this week and um, how it arrived and the reason why it's gonna be, or it is a bit of a disaster. I will just get these out of the way now so you can, so you can see. Um, this is what I ordered. And I haven't actually taken it out of this acrylic case as of yet. Now the reason behind that is, as you can see, the figure in the bubble is at like a slight angle. Now I bought this on card with the bubble still attached. Um, it is attached on one side, it was only cut down one side. So the figure had never been removed from the bubble and all that kind of stuff. And that's how it was sold to me. And the pictures that I saw of it is that is how it was. However, when I got the box, the box I could hear was rattling around and I thought, I knew then that there was something wrong with it. And of course, when I got it out, I could see that the bubble has completely come away from the card now, which is is not good. So obviously I contacted the seller and um, informed him and he's given me a refund. And then we've um, agreed a price on buying it in this state, basically. So a lot, lot cheaper than it would have been if the bubble was attached. We've agreed on a price and everything's cool. So I feel that I can now open it and show you guys what it is. So for the first time, I'm actually going to be undoing this tape and, and taking the uh, card back and figure out. So, I mean, you guys can decide for yourselves whether that was packed well enough to protect the bubble. I don't want to criticize the seller too much. Um, you know, obviously it's disappointing for both of us because he's not getting as much money as he thought for it. Um, so there's the, the blaster there. That is, it's, so it's prune face. As you've seen, that is prune faces blaster. And that is a Lily Leddy blaster. And then we're just going to take the card out now very, very gently. You can see that. Now I, there's some tape on this bubble wrap which I do not want to get onto the card, which is I think is, is half what the problem was. So let's take that out like that. Right, so we can get, a, we can get rid of that now. So the pictures showed that the, the bubble was actually attached this side. I'm just gonna lift this card back up for you. So it's actually attached that side like so and cut this side so it would have it would have come like that which would have been absolutely fantastic um, and a really nice piece to display 
However, what I'm going to have to do now is I'm going to have to display it uh, still with the original bubble. And this is a Lily Leddy prune face. As you can see, he has the slightly pinker face. I do believe that that is the case. And we have the cloak here. And of course the blaster, as I mentioned. But the card back is lovely. Um, you know, I would I would happily display this as just the card back. Lily Leddy card back made in Mexico. And this here is what's called the positive card back. So with Lily Leddy's, you got the ones which were, were like a cardboard color with the sketched figures and what have you, or drawings of the characters. And then you could get what's called a negative card back, which is all black. And then, uh, you know, white figures, if you were. It's a bit hard to display describe but I think I'll throw an image up. What I would say is if you want to find out more about Lily Leddy in general and Pruneface then I would check out the Action Figure Graders channel. I'll leave a link in the description below. You really really should subscribe to his channel. It's an amazing channel. It goes through a lot of the older vintage Star Wars and all the different variants and what have you but I really wanted a Lily Leddy made in Mexico card back and figure combo for my collection to go with all of my other card backs that I have. And this one will fit very nicely. I'd love the purple color on the name pill and the, the bit behind the figure. That isn't the case on the Kenner version. It's more of like an orangey color. So these uh, El Regreso del Jedi card backs are just beautiful. So this one's going to go very, very nicely in the collection. And I think I will probably send it off to a grading company. Maybe not to grade it, but maybe just to protect it for me. I'll probably get the figure in the bubble and then maybe with a bubble pr protector that will go round that and just to keep it in place. And then I can still display it on the card even though it's not attached. So there you go then guys, that was the disaster. Essentially it's wiped off a lot of value in this figure. Um, obviously the seller's very disappointed. I'm disappointed because I wanted it in better condition. Uh, but all's well is ends well, you know, he's given me a refund and we've agreed a price it for in its new state. Um, and I think it's fair all round, but um, it just shows you the pitfalls of having to send figures, old figures to people through the post and what can happen. Things can get damaged and stuff like that. It's big, big shame. But still, at least I do have a Lily Leddy in my collection now and it will go very nicely with all the others. So thank you then guys, thanks very much for watching this video, I hope you've enjoyed it, and uh, we'll see you on the next one.